Here we go, round one. Julian Jackson, the Hawk, the champion, and the gold with the red trim, Dennis Milton, and white trunks. And Jackson, as he told us, goes Milton what he has to do to upset Jackson. He said, my boxing ability and boxing savvy will take care of that. He said, Jackson's going out. Jackson. Tuna fights, you have to get in there in competition. In the gym won't do it, and especially not if you're going to face a Julian Jackson, who is very good. Good right hand by Jackson. Jackson looking to air it out here in the very first round. Milton foolishly holding on to the rope instead of covering up. He is very apprehensive and tight. All that ring rust is showing. He certainly, certainly doesn't look like he belongs. And down goes Milton. He does not look like he is going to get up. He looks like he's part of the fixture. He's part of the canvas. The magician is down for the count. And it is all over in round number one. Julian Jackson retains his WBC middleweight championship, knocking out Dennis Milton. So much for the theory, so much for the theory that you can uh, go to the gym and work 18 months and hope to face a guy like Julian Jackson. This is Jackson's 10th first round knockout. And he is now 42 and 1 with 40 KOs, 6 and 0 in championship bouts. His average rounds per championship bout for this one in the first. Well, fights like that, he really doesn't have to worry about his eyesight because he didn't get hit once. And Dennis Milton is still being attended to flat on his back. Well, he, the uh, precaution that they take here, and they do uh, in New Jersey and in Florida, many states, is to leave him down, even though his eyes are open and he responds until he's fully clear-headed. Then they sit him up, and then they, from there they progress to standing. His eyes are open. He seems to be reacting, so it doesn't look like uh, any difficulty there. It's just a resounding knockout. When Julian Jackson knocks you out, he knocks you out. I mean, they can count to 100. And we feel for Dennis Milton right now. Mills Lane is hovering over him to make sure at least he's comfortable. Well, and he's in bad shape, getting up very slowly. The doctor's there, of course. They should, they should not be in a hurry. I mean, there's no point in being in a hurry to make a guy get up. Boom with a punch. It's just like hitting a bag. Look at the boom. It's just a, um, that's unfortunate. He was too tight. He didn't get a chance to catch himself and start in his own rhythm. It's kind of unfair but the, uh, for him because he just didn't have it to, uh, to be in there with Julian Jackson. Let's see. What happened at the end of the fight when Jackson, who's one of the great finishers in boxing, finally puts the quietus on the hapless magician. And there goes Dennis Milton and part of the canvas. Well, the magician pulled a disappearing act here yes. against Julian Jackson. Well, no magic tonight. It was just a, a straight, hard performance by a, a really good champion in Julian Jackson. Let's take another look at that. The right hand that lands alongside of his face just short circuits all the neurons and there is nothing left to keep him standing or in the conscious world. He's knocked out.